dance hall artist Louis Grandison, who is more commonly known as Dexter Daps, is again the center of attention with regards to raunchy display by a dance hall artist on stage. Recently, in a different location during his current tour, Dexter invited two females to stand which and dance with him on the stage, and one of the females decided to suck his nipple before leaving the stage, sending the crowd wild. This new video shows Dexter Daps on top of a female on stage in a mission-era sexual position with hands wrapped around each other. Dexter Daps can be heard saying, Don't move, baby. Don't move. Skin it out, Feeny. While some fans are pleased with the Dapadon stagecraft, some are equally displeased and made their feeling known in the comments. One fan wrote, The amount of DI got from your music. Keep doing your thing, my G. While someone who did not like the site said, Now you doing too much. They not pay for the soft porn. Too much agwan popcorn. In a no viral footage that has racked up over 9 million views in less than 6 hours on social media, a male said to be Chicago rapper Lil J can be seen welcoming another man to sit on his lap while incarcerated. The video did not stop at the inmate sitting on the rapper's lap. It continued with both men kissing. The video surfaced late Tuesday night. Hours after another video surfaced a fellow Chicago rapper, the late King Vaughn acting gay while in lockup and requesting to be placed in protective custody because of his sexual orientation. Lil J is now trending on Twitter as users continue to share and react to the leaked prison footage. The father of prominent dance hall artist Alkaline has died. Alkaline, whose birth name is Erlen Bartley, has not publicly addressed the loss, remaining silent on social media. The artist's father, Earl Bartley, affectionately known as Rooster, reportedly passed away last week. Confirmation of Rooster's passing came from Alkaline's sister and manager, Karina, who revealed the tragic news. With a heavy heart, she shared, He has passed. I am at a loss for words in a situation like this. The private memorial service, known as the Nine Night, is scheduled to take place on Wednesday, the 19th, at an undisclosed location in the corporate area. When questioned about how her brother was coping with the loss, Carrie said it was difficult to speak on his behalf during this challenging time. I can only speak for my 